I'm Adam Balkan, and to me, reporting is a science. That's because here at New York One, technology is my beat. We're about to explore some of the city's most celebrated kid-friendly science centers, and I've borrowed the perfect set of wheels for this trip. In fact, when I'm done, I won't even have to worry about returning it with an empty tank. Our first stop, the Staten Island Zoo, where kids can get up close and personal with the animals, all part of an educational outreach that keeps giving year-round. We have this program with PS29 and now with PS16, where we are actually their science class. They come here, we go there, we have a traveling zoo, in essence, that takes our animals and our educators to the classroom. From a newfound respect for rare and endangered animals to an enhanced appreciation for those everyday surroundings we may take for granted, the Bronx Botanical Garden is a place where kids can get their hands dirty and at the same time, come away with a better understanding of the ecosystem. It's important that they know about plants, that they understand the importance of plants in our environment and in our world, especially as we move towards figuring out climate change and other issues that are facing our society. How many of us still remember that first class field trip to the Museum of Natural History? Well, this is not your father's museum anymore. It's both the history of the world and the future beyond the universe that fires the imagination here and keeps kids coming. Museums can, can support that natural curiosity, that natural scientific sort of perspective kids have, then that has the, um, the opportunity to develop into a lifelong passion. It can be the reason that they choose what they're going to be when they grow up. While much is known about our vast oceans, given its wide expanse, our knowledge is merely a drop in the bucket. Who among this group of school students will grow up to further our understanding of this world that surrounds us all? The New York Aquarium, with its denizens of the deep, is both awesome and inviting. They love to go to our Explore the Shore exhibit because there are a lot of small jewel box types exhibits at their level which have fascinating little creatures in them and they can go from place to place to place to place and it's great, they love it. Back here in Queens, the New York Hall of Science appears more like an e-ticket ride and less like a learning center, but don't be fooled. In many of our exhibits, what we try to do is work off of things that people are familiar with. So, for example, we have an exhibit that is all about the science of space flight, but we use the context of a mini golf course to help children understand the physics that underlies rocketry. Rocketry applied to miniature golf? Now that's a stroke of genius. If you're interested in learning more about science, technology, engineering, or math, the answers are right under your nose. Check out the dinosaurs at the Museum of Natural History, explore the environment at the Bronx Botanical Garden, or visit the other wonderful places in your neighborhood that will bring out the scientists inside of you. To find out more about the Connect a Million Minds initiative, visit connectamillionminds.com. Adam Balkin, New York One.